Hello everybody, I hope that you are truly doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be doing what we absolutely love once again and that is diving into the Bitcoin charts together today, going over the important levels, the trades that we've taken over the past 24 hours and how these can progress going into the next probably two to three days, okay, so this week primarily on the lower term time frames. Well, as always, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. And uh, all I ask is that you pay full attention. Without further said or do, try and keep this one short and sweet. Let's begin. So, I mean, it's quite very, very interesting uh, you, where we bounced off yesterday. Obviously, yesterday done a live stream, free public live stream for you all, where we were monitoring that price action as it was falling down. Obviously, it was in this, <laughs> you can kind of see it, but we was falling down and down and down. We obviously went through the daily level. We went through the CC, um, you know, kind of like butter. It was very, very swift move to the downside. And where it bounced in the end was obviously off of this swing failure pan of the double bottom. We obviously formed a double bottom earlier last week. We had a rise in price, and yeah, as Igor says, this was not a low that we liked. Uh, eventually, was expecting it to get taken out, and it and it did get taken out, and it was you know quite brilliant the way that it formed. Think back to you know last year. I <laughs> uh, love to say that. Think back to last year when we were obviously at the top around December. What were we looking for for that short position? It was obviously that swing failure pattern. So the top of this range was really defined by that swing for pan at $52,000. Obviously, that's what we were ready and waiting for. And that's what happened. We got the swing for pan and it's dropped, it's dropped, it's dropped, it's dropped, it's dropped. Where did it drop down to? Well, it obviously come down to around that daily where we had a few bounces off the daily before, you know, forming a double bottom where we could once again target that swing failure pattern. So just as we were targeting that for the short at $52,000, we were aware of this for the long, obviously down and around $40,000. The same idea, it's the same practice, and it's ready and waiting for the reaction. Yeah, we have planned out the idea. We are then ready and waiting, anticipating what is to come. Okay, and as soon as you see it, you got to take it. Obviously, a long position in this, in this instance. Why do we love these type of setups? Because once again, you know, you take the double bottom, everybody gets really bearish, and then the swing failure pattern champions <laughs> come and take their money. Like clockwork, every time, okay? So it's just this simple case, as you see, of, you know, planning the idea, swing failure pattern of the lows, seeing that swing failure pattern, this was obviously quite brilliant, and we all know how this has progressed. Well, I'll talk about that over the, the coming few minutes. But I just wanted to start off the video briefly by, you know, highlighting how brilliant it kind of was, the exact way that we put in the high being you know, ready and waiting and planned for that one to get into the perfect short. Or well, likewise, yesterday we managed to plan, be ready for the swing failure pattern. We see the swing failure pattern, no hesitation. It results in a long trade. Okay, so I just want to do one announcement um, really, really briefly, and that is um, obviously today is a Tuesday. Every Tuesday and Thursday, we do a free, totally free um community post over on our YouTube channel. To see the post, you can obviously read it when this video ends. Just come over to the community tab via your mobile or your desktop, and you can come over here and read uh, the community posts that we do every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, the other quick announcement that I wanted to do is also just to remind you, because I'm sure people are not aware of this, even from the members, that George is obviously doing his live streams every single day. Uh, today, he done obviously a quick 10 minute update, um, you know, for the, for the quick version. People obviously love this and then follows it up with a one hour, 44 minute live stream with, you know, much more in depth. And this is occurring every day. You get a quick 10 minute update like, like this public video, but like more in depth. And then also a one hour, 44, you know, average hour to two hours video where it's going through all your questions, answering them, you know, in a, in a full depth live stream. So. Yeah, those are the two announcements I wanted to do. Actually, the first one was to remind you for free, you got the community post. And if you want more, well, you have live streams galore <laughs> inside of the group, obviously, at chartchampions.com. So, yeah, there's more than enough to get going here. And moving on now to, um, you know, what's happened, obviously, here. So from that swing failure pattern, naturally, if you were prepared and ready for that, you see that it's, it's resulting in a long trade. Obviously, you get that, you know, nice move to the upside. And if we zoom in on the, the charts here, just so we can kind of visualize this, what was happening, and this is where you first see that swing failure pattern, okay? And then this is kind of the result. And the levels that we've come up to, oh, 
it's really, really, really brilliant. Okay, so this is when we love Igor. Okay, so you're ready and waiting for your Igor sessions. And you can see this top one that's coming in at around $42,400 ish dollars. Okay, we're looking at this Igor session. And well, this is the brilliance of this. When we add this onto our chart, Okay, you can see uh, come down on like a uh, 15 minute chart. You can see how you're hovering, hovering, hovering. And this was at the CC, which I'll show you in a second. You wick through that level. Okay, you come back down. And obviously, this is giving you this is an intraday position. So, this is where you have to change your mind from swing trading, which was obviously this, in my opinion, is a swing trade long potentially. Obviously, we maybe get stopped out, but that's a swing trade position. This is obviously naturally more of a day trader's position. Okay, you're going to have. In my opinion, 100% have, have hit take profit one on this. For me, if you're wondering, was the range point of control? Okay, so the point of control of this, I'll just show you. But this is obviously being hit now. Okay, so naturally, you can have definitely hit take profit one, have the stop loss at entry. Uh, then you're in a scenario. If, if this does continue up, it's, it's absolutely fine. This is the beauty of trading. You just need to be, you know, relatively good with your entries. How can you have relatively good entries? Where it's by being prepared for the levels. When the levels are hit, take the trade. Uh, then, of course, lock in that take profit one. Personally, I have hit my take profit one off with the long of the swing fair pan and this one. Like both of these trades are uh, I've already myself hit take profit one. This was obviously designed more as a swing trade potential. This is definitely more of a day trade. So the percentages I'm taking here are, are different, of course. But obviously, as we came up to that this morning, uh, we come down and hit that range of POC. Naturally, for me anyway, this is um like I say, it's always perfect when you're ready, when you're waiting, when you're alert for what's to come. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful market to be trading right now, let's be honest. Um, and so that leaves us like brilliant, you might think. Well done. You've, you've hit the uh, swing fire pan. You've then hit that first uh, kind of... Mm, let's call it like a major resistance level towards the top of the local range. Obviously, we do have a few levels above us if we are breaching this. And then on the, like the, the day trades, oh yeah, I was going to show you, wasn't I? The, 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 the also the, sorry, uh, the CC that we were up here was obviously from the high on the 6th of January down to the low that was made yesterday. So you're at the C, you know, EG, you had, you know, a few different confluences here on the Eagle session there uh, for, for the intraday uh, short position, of course. And so that really leaves you now with the more, you know, what we're looking towards over the next few days. And, and we can already pre-anticipate this. No, we can pre-anticipate this. So naturally, the I think it, we can all agree the important support is, is still going to be this, this swing failure pattern low. Although, yes, it's not a swing failure pattern anymore. You know, even if you had missed actually that original rise, you actually come back and you back tested this an hour later. So if you missed the original, like really aggressive long, you actually got a back test of the level, as you can see here, you know, a few hours later, didn't quite hit it. But you know, you kind of got a relatively nice back, back test of that level. Again, this is another rising price of nearly 5%. So much opportunity, so many trades to be had here, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, that, that that's obviously what we're referring to here. I still think that this is a very important support. If lost, I am def you know I am going to be looking towards lower to be honest with you. But this is naturally the important support that we're looking at over the next few days. If it's lost, it's absolutely fine. We just look for lower. But this, in my opinion, is you know I don't like to put it, but an important support level, yeah. And on to the upside, we've already tapped this this level once. You know you expect it to break. Maybe one more tap. Second or third time you expect to go through these type of levels. Why? Because this is an intraday level. It's not a high term time frame resistance. And then obviously our next level above us is coming in at around 43,200. Again, if we breach this, then we're obviously going to be looking out for a breakout from the overall top of the, you know, the, the, the channel that we have been trading. Um, so it, it's a case now, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it really is a case of truly understanding how we are planning these trades, what we are then looking for once the trade has been planned based off of, you know, that reaction based off of, you know, what's actually happening at the time. Like, I do have a video prepared for this, but it's like we were looking at yesterday. I don't want this video to go on too long, but it's like we were looking at yesterday. When we're looking at this order flow, it's just like that edge and advantage over the market that's just helping you decide do i take this trade now or am i or am i waiting and we all knew yesterday we were looking at that order flow coming down and we knew not to long the cc we knew not to long the daily why because that order flow was really bearish okay and obviously that ended with the really big flush to the downside to give us the swing failure pattern so eg what we are doing now is we've got our levels marked out okay we are then patiently waiting for those levels to be hit and once they are hit we can make an informed decision 
of are we going to take that trade yes or no for example if we come up to this level and we're seeing great open interest increases positive delta and we are simply moving through the level then we know not to take that trade don't we well, I, I hope you would uh, whereas if we saw what we saw today with a clear rejection some trap longs into the level then yeah it's an acceptable short position okay we know to take profit one for me on the swing trade and for the day trade why because i'm just very good at taking profit one i like to do that to protect myself and then you are in this position where you can have entered your trade hit or take profit one move your stop loss up into profits or entry and you are in just this relaxed state of the market of hey i am totally comfortable with what happens next if we pump massively from here i am comfortable if we dump massively from here i am totally comfortable why are you comfortable well, because you have your shorts, hopefully, from the top of the range still. I have no reason to close this. We then have the longs from the lower of the range. Totally comfortable. <laughs> I will close this happily if we lose our support levels. So how, you know, this is the this is the thing people want. Oh, la, 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 la. The, the only way you can get into these positions is by originally putting in that hard work, yeah? Once you've put in the hard work and the setup comes to you like this, it's like, it, it's simplistic. It's easy. It's very, it's very very it's just nice isn't it but the only reason you can achieve that level is because you've prior put in the hard work and prepared for that if you do not prepare you are basically prepared to only fail okay so if you want to succeed you have to have these plans preset ready made and then when it occurs bam profits <laughs> money made um so yeah that was the quick uh kind of quick video yeah for me it was kind of a quick video let's be honest that was the quick video that i wanted to bring you today i wanted to educate you talking you through you know, the swing fail patterns, how we were alert, ready and waiting for them, how we have taken them, um, you know, some of the targets that we've brought us towards, then the levels that I'm looking towards next. OK, so at the end of the day, simplistically, we are range bound currently. If we break this range, brilliant. We obviously know the levels that we'd be trading up towards higher and low towards lower. And I will say it once again, we do not need to know now which way this range is going to break when it breaks. You know, we will accept this and trade the direction of the break okay we are at the moment we are prepared for either direction and before people say hey um, you need to tell us what's happening next so the answer is if you want to make money if you truly want to make money trading you need to understand you don't need to know the answer <laughs> okay and once you've rewired your brain to acknowledge that hey you can start to make money to be honest with you um so yeah that's everything Check out the posts if you want more, obviously, within the group. And um, yeah, well done on everybody that also managed to get into those trades because there was a yeah, there was a lot of people that done very well on that swing failure pattern yesterday. Like, yeah, pretty, pretty crazy the amount of profits people made on that one. But why was that? Well, we were we were definitely prepared for it. Anyway, thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope you have a brilliant day. Smash that like button as hard as you can. I know you love to absolutely smash that like. And uh, I hope that you've really enjoyed it. Thank you ever so much. And um, of course, read the disclaimer before we end. Thank you and have a brilliant day. Goodbye. Cheers.